Hello everyone, welcome back to Luce Discusses Everything. In today's video, we're going to discuss the Russian presidential election. Um, as of recently, as of about 37 minutes ago, and I'm recording this on March 17th, um, 2024, the Russian presidential election occurred, the votes concluded, and the official results by the Russian state imply that uh, Putin um, wins re-election for another six-year term. As you know, he had occupied the presidency. He first occupied the presidency around 2000, and then he finished his um, tenure as president in 2008, installing somebody else in power, his current um, prime minister uh, in power, um, and then retaking the presidency, not even like four years later, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Oh, yeah, 2008. And then he retook the presidency, which is where he is right now. Um, this is notable because that means Vladimir Putin will be president for another six-year term, right? And there are various ways in which uh, this has been taken uh, by news media outlets and I wanted to showcase this like a, just a simple Google search. Putin sh um, shows you a summary of just different um, reactions uh, from across the world, right? A, from even Spanish newspapers to um, British newspapers to American newspapers. They all say different things, but essentially that the vote is a sham and 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 because it's basically people were more or less coerced to vote for him. Um, he's essentially an authoritarian, uh, basically a, a mild dictator, right? Um, so, so yeah, so this was a predetermined vote, and he won re-election. Notable things, though, is uh, Axios reporting of protests against Putin erupt at polls on the last day of Russian election which is, I mean, notable in a country as authoritarian as Russia, the Russian Federation. Um, but it's not the first time it has happened, right? Uh, there was record turnout in this election, so uh, not the message that you want to extend. Um, this is NPR, Russians crowded uh, polling uh, places in an apparent protest as Putin extends rule. Um so yeah, so there appears to be like protests going on, but nothing that would prevent his re-election. Like this is, this was happening. This was happening. Um, and this was only possible because um, and he was able to amend the constitution to allow for another term. Um, that was done under um, his uh, prime minister uh, when his prime minister reigned. And so he was able to amend the constitution and to give him like two more six year terms, essentially. After this one, I'm thinking that he cannot run again, but in all honesty, he's 71 years old. So I don't know how much more time he can stay in power. Um, we shall see. Um, but yeah, we are pretty much guaranteed to have him as the president of the, of the nuclear armed Russian Federation for the next six years. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.